This is so sincerely Sarah, and you know, bringing you your daily advice. Um, gang, gang. Let me tell y'all right now, no matter how fitting it may be, and no matter how much uh, I want to, I will not drop the mic on y'all in this last episode of So Sincerely Sarah. I would, I would never. Here at So Sincerely Sarah, we like to keep our promises. No matter how... Odd. Today, on this day, actually no, it wasn't this day, it was like, you know, sometime last year, whenever senior year started. Anyway, I said a thing, which I'm gonna play right now. Trying to find the perfect guacamole recipe? Definitely. Yeah, so today I'm here to fulfill that promise, or whatever you wanna call it, and today I am here to give you answers. And also to advertise my YouTube channel, So Sincerely Sarah, because you know I'm not gonna be here next year, but you know where I will be on YouTube at U of A. So uh, subscribe, So Sincerely Sarah. It'll show up. It's probably gonna be somewhere like here on the screen, and you can you can just read that and then search it up on YouTube and subscribe, please. Anyway, I traveled across the nation finding avocado experts, tomato experts, some salt experts really salty people. Just people who are perfectly in tune with the art of guacamole. And today, I bring you the fruits of that labor. Or rather, the, the guacamole of that, of that labor. Uh, could you tell me how it be on the avocado farm? You know, on the avocado farm, it's just crazy, you know. People just be like, throwing avocados, and I'm like, yo, it's raining avocados. Like, you know, raining men, but like, it's raining avocados. Hallelujah. Uh, if you're not religious, you know, it's just random avocados. But, like, it's crazy because, you know, you got to open it. It's like, there's a certain way you got to peel it. Peel the avocado. Guacamole. You know the song. Anyway, it's just real hard because you got fat seeds. And I'm like, oh, why are they so fat? Fat Albert should endorse those, too. Um, you know, I don't even know how guacamole, guacamole, guacamole i don't even know how avocados are like grown like I, do they come on trees are they plants the grass are you wait are, Potato? are you a professional or I... how do you get the correct the flavor that 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 spiciness if i can't say that good spice in your uh guacamole so um I actually had a job with Akisa, so I used to make guacamole. And um, what I would do is I would get the guacamole, and I would get a blender, some salt. You need salt. And then you blend everything together, and uh, yeah, that's how you get some good guacamole. Uh, tell me how you're supposed to be whipping up the guacamole, please. All right, so what I do first, you know, you gotta get that guac and guac. Well, you need the guac first before you get the guac, because if you don't got the guac, you can't get the guac anyways. So, I'm left-handed. So what I do, I get the guac, I like, peel the avocado, guacamole, yeah, you know? And then I just like, whip it in the kitchen, like like a stir fry, you feel me? And I like, put the little stuff in there. Guacamole. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. By any chance, do you have, do you go to U of A? Not oh, fam, I go to ASU. Forks up. Going through this journey of soul searching and uh, exploration together, I think that we can all agree that the true secret ingredient in the perfect guacamole recipe is a dash of love. I'll catch y'all later. But wait, let me, I gotta do something real quick. Just let me. I said I wasn't gonna do it and I did it anyway. <laughs>